In this video, I'll be showing you how I edit videos on mouse and keyboard in DaVinci Resolve Studio. After I show you how I edit on mouse and keyboard, I'll be showing you the Blackmagic Design Speed Editor, how it works and how it's different from mouse and keyboard editing. But this is what I usually do. I usually come to the, um, the edit panel. Just I just drop all my footage in here. Uh, change bit rate change. And I drag it to this 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 source over here. I'll drag it. I watch. You can't see behind the scenes how I usually shoot videos. Sometimes I wanted it to <laughs> land right in the middle. It doesn't land right in the middle. I just keep doing it over and over. So I'm actually satisfied. So we're gonna over here, right? I will just press I to select the in point. Out. I press O to this out point. So now I got like this this piece over here. So after I get this, I drag it at the bottom here. And it looks something like that. That 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 is our final over here. Then I just like I just take like in and out of stuff I want, and I just like I just drag it at the bottom when I'm finished choosing my in and out so that's what I usually do that's how I cut cut my um my clips just in and out and just drag it at the bottom that's how I usually do it okay here I got the speed editor I'll be connecting it using um USB-C because I find like the um the bluetooth this doesn't work that great so uh, i'm just gonna give i'm just gonna i'm gonna give it its best chance using um a direct wired connection i had bluetooth working but like i didn't like how it was working so i've been using um direct connection to give it its best chance okay here i here i'm am now with the speed editor plugged in and it should power up as soon as you open the Vinci Resolve. If it doesn't like light up, the snap and the jog button is supposed to light up. If it doesn't light up, you just press like one of the keys or the stop and play button and it should light up. When you when you use the speed editor, where it really like is useful is in the cut page. So you let's go to the cut page. We can just do everything right on here. Like we press the source button, it brings up all our footage like it's, you can go through everything, you can scroll, just scroll through the whole, all the clips. It's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. It's responsive. Alright, we're just gonna keep it on, um, keep it on, keep it on jog for now. Keep it on jog. What is still, still, still is like, I have no idea. Still does not feel still feels hella unresponsive I don't still feel weird I don't I don't, I don't work when you still jog is the one that feels normal so you can use this part over I mean let me put on the song so you can actually hear um desktop audio so yeah yeah you should be able to hear that yeah we got it. so we started from we pressing the in button so you can start over here in scroll 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 that looks fine out and then we press append or clip put it in there it's gonna appear on the timeline at the bottom if you want to view your timeline you can just press timeline and you can see or play your timeline check it out looks fine now let's go back to source let's look for the other clip out of kit. It's like how we got this one. We got this is actually actually does make a difference. It actually is like faster. If you if you like have more practice with it, is it is faster. Side in, out. Clip, the hand, 
and after that but it's over here like, you can go in and out fast like you can go back and forth like easily honestly it probably makes like editing a little fun too you know this is how I usually edit my stuff though I'll, I'll watch it like multiple times in out again all right let's go to timeline you can watch it back watch it back in timeline see what we got so far do that we do that it's gonna take us long this was like this was good you can actually like sit down relax refine your edits you don't even have to touch the mouse but this is this is bas basically mainly I think this was like made for people who like got a lot of footage to edit like some long long intense clips. But so far like the, the speed editor is what it's the same price as it's basically the same price as Da Vinci Resolve Studio. So I was like, if you if you're gonna buy a Da Vinci Resolve studio license you should just buy the speed editor because it comes with davinci resolve studio and like resolve um, i've been using for love for like three weeks now and it's been like it's like it's like years ahead of premiere pro it actually it actually is like years better than premiere pro uh, let's get this over here in oh here in this thing Oh, okay. And that looks good. You should do this in, out, of your hand. Let's see. You don't even have to touch your mouse, man. Let's just press the scrolls there. Go back and jog. There you go. Uh, Didn't even have to touch the mouse. Editing with both hands it was like it's kind of more refined like that. I actually, feel like it actually feels like more. And this is like 4K 60 uh, 50 footage. This is off my Samsung SSD too. This is how I'll be using it. I don't really want to go into too much advanced features. I don't really want to show too much because I'm still new with it too. I don't. I don't. I just wanted to show the difference between editing with um editing with mouse and keyboard and editing with this because I wanted to like watch back and see it also. Like I'm looking at it now. It's I was skeptical. I was like. This is just a free keyboard they're giving away with DaVinci, but nah, this this actually is worth it. Like, this is it for me. I, I, I do recommend this. You could, especially if you're getting Resolve, you should just buy this. Because you're getting Resolve with it. Plus, a nice control surface. Yeah, this thing feels like a tank, bro. This thing's like... It's crazy. It's high quality. High quality. This is this is like the the best part of it though. This 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 wheel is the best part of it. I'm gonna get out. I get out of here now. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, leave a like. If it's a weird video, tell me it's a weird video. If you got any questions or anything, let me know in the comments. I'll answer it. I usually answer every comment. So remember to subscribe. See you next one.